Windows 10 is just not secure unless you change a bunch of settings. The trick is to find a nice balance between security and usability. I mean, you can lock down your entire computer so much that it becomes insanely frustrating and nobody wants that. So you know when you plug in a USB flash drive into your computer or you connect your phones, Windows automatically tries to help you by opening up the file explorer. Well, this can actually be a security risk, so let's deal with that quickly. Right, head into Windows Search and then type there Auto Play, and then you'll see the Auto Play settings. Simply open that up, and you'll see by default your Auto Play is enabled for all media and devices. Now you have a choice, you can switch it off altogether, or you can make specific decisions based on whatever you plug into your computer. So if I plug in a flash drive, I wanna take no action, I want nothing to run automatically, but maybe when I plug in a media card, like from my camera, I want to automatically import the photos and video. Realistically, the best option is probably just to switch autoplay off and then go to your file explorer and simply access the files. Now Bluetooth is amazing for those of us who use a Bluetooth mouse, the keyboard or a headphone, but there is one settings you really should switch off here as well. Back to Windows search we go and this time we're going to type in there Bluetooth and then you'll see at the top Bluetooth and other device settings. Now on the right side click on more Bluetooth options and then you'll see allow Bluetooth device to find this PC. If it is ticked you want to untick it and of course if you want to add another Bluetooth device to your computer when you click on add other device it will become discoverable for that time. Now, just an honorable mention here, talking about security, please do not label your computer with your actual name. Now, Windows 10 has a slew of security options. Some of them are obvious, while some of them are hidden or even turned off by default for some bizarre strange reason. So let's go through those now. Back to the Windows search, and this time we're gonna type in there simply security. And then the Windows security option comes up, click on that. Under virus and threat protection, what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down to the bottom until you see manage ransomware protection. You wanna focus on the controlled folder access, protects file, folders, and memory errors on your devices from unauthorized changes by unfriendly application. Absolutely, we wanna enable that. Now, under the firewall and network protection, well, this is interesting. Domain network, well, essentially, if you're connected to a workplace, this administrator of your domain will probably take care of all your security. Now, next up is called private network. Now, this could be at home or at work, where you know and trust the people and devices on the network. Now, should they be able to access your device? Should it be discoverable? Well, you can make those decisions. However, the important one for me is public network. Net public network is places such airports, coffee shop, where basically you're gonna use your Wi-Fi and your computer is not set to discoverable. Go to the very, very bottom where it says incoming connections. You wanna block incoming connection, including those in the allowed app list. Next up, under apps and browser control, you want to enable the reputation-based protection to protect you from malicious and potentially unwanted apps, files, and website. After you switch this on, you wanna click on reputation-based protection settings, and you just wanna make sure all these things are actually checked to on, especially the ones at the bottom, which is potentially unwanted app blockings, block apps, and then block downloads as well. This is gonna keep you extra, extra safe. Now back to the apps and browser control, and there's a section there called exploit protection. This is baked into Windows to help protect your device against attacks. Click on those settings. Now, by default, most of these will be switched to on, as you can clearly see here. But the one that is actually switched to off is force randomization for image mandatory. You wanna switch that to on by default and it does require you to reboot your device, but don't do it yet because I'm gonna show you another setting that also requires a restart. Now, let's head up to device security. Depending on your hardware, you may see additional options here, but under core isolation, you wanna click on core isolation details and under memory integrity, you wanna switch this on. It prevents attacks from inserting malicious code into high security processes. Okay, that was a lot. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, I really wish there was a way to make all this so much easier, then you're in luck. Let me introduce you to the premium security suite from Trend Micro, who are also the sponsors of today's video. What I like about the premium security suite is that it just takes care of everyone and everything. You get both security for your computer and phone, as well as a lookout for your online identity. There is just so much in here, so let me just show you. Now, of course, you get the antivirus and security protection for your devices to protect you against things like ransomware, 
It blocks those dangerous phishing websites that can steal your personal information, prevents malicious files and applications from infecting your PC, and it also flags malicious emails and scamming website. It also does this not only on your PC, but on your mobile phone too, as of course our phones have so much personal information. The privacy section ensures that you aren't sharing way too much personal information that shouldn't be floating out there for anyone to just pick up. There is even an added layer of security when you need it most. You know, when you log into those private banking websites. Now, when it comes to your data, you can protect your PC from things like ransomware. You can permanently delete sensitive files in a way that they cannot be retrieved. And it has a built-in password manager and password protected folders. And you get access to the VPN Proxy One Pro service to protect your IP address. There really is a lot in this bundle and each one of these features is so intuitive that anyone can set this up and have that peace of mind with that awesome security and privacy. Check out the link in the description below for more information. And speaking of privacy, let's deal with Windows privacy next. Right click on the Windows icon and then choose settings. When that comes up, we wanna go into privacy. And under general, the first thing you wanna ensure that is off is let apps use advertising ID to make more interesting apps based on your activity? No, uh, no. Let Windows track apps launches to improve your start and search results. Basically, that just means more ads, switch that off. Show me suggested content in settings, switch that off as well. Under speech, I wanna make sure the online speech recognition is actually switched to off. Of course, if you use Cortana or any of those, you wanna leave that on. Inking and typing personalization. Again, I don't use that. I wanna switch that off. So I don't want any making suggestions better. That means they get my data. Now, speaking of data, diagnostics and feedback. There is no way to switch it off, so I just choose the required one, which is the minimum that you can select. Now, moving to location. This allows access to location of this device. Now you can switch the entire thing on or the entire thing off, but it will have an impact on application. So what I like to do is I like to leave it on in general, but then I go to the allow apps access location. I leave that on, scroll further down, find all my apps and start switching on and off those that can and cannot access the location. So my weather, for example, well, that should be allowed to access my location. I can just switch that particular one on. Let's move across to the camera. Now, by default, this is switched to on and that kind of makes sense because of things like Zoom and then Google Meets and whatever other application you use. But as previously, we can actually switch on and off certain applications from using the camera. 3D viewer doesn't need it to have access to my camera. My camera needs access to my camera. Simply go down the list and switch on and off those that do and do not require access to the camera. So you do have control at this app level. And next up, we have the microphone. You can see they're all set up exactly the same way where the top section is switching it off completely and the bottom section is essentially on an app level where you can switch on and off items that should and shouldn't have access to whatever it is that you're currently working with. One thing that's at the very bottom is called other devices. This allows your apps to automatically share and sync info with other wireless devices that don't explicitly pair with your PC, tablet or phone. If you don't use a smart TV, you don't have a projector or an Xbox, so you don't want to deal with the beacons, you can just switch this thing off. This is pretty obvious, but we need to talk about it anyways. Windows updates. Right back to the Windows search we go and this time we're gonna type their updates and we're gonna click on a check for updates. So of course, if you've got any pending items that need to be installed, please make sure that you install them. Super important to keep your computer up to date. Scroll down to the very bottom under advanced options. Now, the top option, receive updates for other Microsoft products when you update Windows. Yes, you wanna enable that, especially if you're running things like Office. The next option is restart this device as soon as possible when a restart is required. Remember, it's not gonna just do it. It's gonna notify you first. You wanna enable that, especially if you've seen my last video to do with Windows shutdown, you know why this is super duper important. Now click on delivery optimization. And basically what this is, is the ability for you to quickly update all the computers on your network. So one computer gets the updates and everybody gets the updates from your local computer, technically making it faster. But if you don't have any other computers, switch it off. Now that you've secured your Windows 10, check out this video over here or check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe and I will see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.